What is up guys? I got another product review for you. Um, today I'm reviewing a rod. I had to get a new rod because uh, in my other video when I was just stating that my light action and it's the only light action rod I had was this Berkley lightning rod. Um, it broke, the tip broke so I had to, re I had to replace the rod. So I'm going to try this new uh, one I seen on Amazon. For relatively cheap, I'm going to try to pair that with this reel that was also came with that rod. Funny story about that rod was that uh, I actually caught this out of a lake, which was pretty awesome. So, I haven't even serviced this ever. This is a Shimano Mark III Quick Fire 2. And it's, um, I've never put any real grease. I've had it for like two years now used it for about two years and I'm, who lo knows how long it's been in the water so I thought that was pretty awesome so Shimano definitely is a good company to think about um if at any point in time that you like this review and you want to purchase this product for yourself you can easily go into my description and I will have a link in the description that will take you straight to that product link or straight to this product and you'll be able to purchase it from there and or purchase anything on Amazon and no matter what you purchase it will help out this channel greatly and I'll appreciate it So without no further ado, let's get this thing put together and let's get a quick rundown of everything that Zepco Rhino Tough is a medium light power fast action rod It's um, gonna be six foot it has six guys including the tip and it's a two-piece rod for line weight it says it right here for line weight it's six foot long you see medium light line weight four to ten pounds lower weight one sixteenth ounce to one fourth ounce so that is what the recommendation is I already like the fact that it has a built-in hook um, hook holder. So if I'm just on the move, going up down a river, I can just hook it right there and don't have to worry about my line swinging around and getting caught up on trees. So that's a great advantage for me. And like I said, this, uh, this rod is a relatively cheap rod. It'll cost between $20 and $30, which is pretty awesome. It does not come with a reel. But I did. I was purchasing this specifically because it didn't come with a reel. I already have a great um, light fishing reel, and I only use this. Um, I'm gonna need a knife to get that off, so I can't get this off for you guys. But um, I only use a light action rod usually when I'm fishing those tiny little spinners and spoons for trout fishing. Like that's basically what I use this for. Or I'll use it for like um, if I really want to pan fish or like uh, get some some sunflowers or something they say that it's got a solid glass tip on their listing but I think what they meant to say was it's a solid fiberglass tip and uh, the only thing that I'm really looking forward to is to see if it glows because they uh, they say it's a glow tip and we're gonna test that out into this video for you later on in the end there's not much bend to this tip, which is very good. That's exactly what I want. I want the bend to be over here. And I'm putting quite a bit of pressure. And already it's not snapping, so... It says it comes with a 10-year warranty. Guaranteed tough. Heavy-duty cross-weave rod construction. Heavy-duty guides with solid stainless steel tip. Protects against guide damage. And there is the logo on the tag. So let's pop this puppy off. Alright, so here we've got it put together this is a good nice EVA foam I'd rather EVA foam than um, 
the cork, the cork, get, it looks dirty and it's uncomfortable after a while. Um, it's got the woven uh, fiberglass here. And as I stated, we got your hook holder there. You don't have to worry about writing anything down because it has all the specs already on the side, which is good. I really love the coloration that they put on here. It's a nice red with a silver in, in the middle. Then we got that low tip. All right, and now let's get this um, this reel on top of the rod. I uh, I I have here it's um, eight pound test monofilament from Berkeley Trilene. It's a clear color. I also have a link for that in the description. Um, it's a good, relatively. It's a really cheap line. It's like one of the cheapest lines that I use. That you can even find it at Walmart. You know what I mean? So, mono filament line is usually a lot cheaper as well, I found. So, you hear me scratching the tip up already? And that fits nicely in there. I always like to test to see if this will break right away. And that seems pretty strong as well. And then finally, for the last test, does the tip glow?